Hey guys, Austin here for Volt Life Proof Grooming, and today we have a doozy of a video for you guys. Today we're going to be talking about a very general subject, but something I see a lot of people get wrong, and that is how to actually grow your beard. Now growing a beard is actually no easy feat, but with more and more people rocking beards every day, I thought it would be a good idea to work through the steps of how to grow your beard and how to do it right. So without any further ado, let's jump into the first point I have for growing a beard, which is have the right tools. As men, you know, we understand that tools are everything when it comes to getting a job done. And you know, without having the right tools, we usually have to improvise, adapt, and overcome any obstacle that usually wouldn't or shouldn't have been an obstacle in the first place. So when it comes to growing your beard, here are some bare minimum tools that you're going to need along the way. First up being a reliable set of beard trimmers or clippers, preferably with adjustable guards to control your hair length. Now this should be obvious. You're not going to be able to manage your hair growth unless you have some of these. Alright, the next tool you're going to need is a pair of grooming scissors. Fun fact, I actually just use the scissors I have on a Swiss Army knife just because they're small and they work for me, but grooming scissors are going to be just small lightweight scissors that you can use to accurately trim and manage certain areas of your beard like your mustache. And last but not least, you're going to need a beard comb or brush to align all the hairs, make it easier to manage and untangle anything if it gets too tangled. These tools may sound obvious right now, but they're going to be absolutely absolutely necessary the further you go into growing your beard and rocking different styles. Alright, so the next thing you're going to need to do to grow your beard right is to not shave it. Don't shave it, don't trim it, don't do anything with it for at least one to two months. Here's why this is important. Number one is without letting your beard grow for a little while, you're not going to know which beard styles you can actually pull off because you won't have any perspective of the length and density of the hair that you can pull off. You won't know what kind of fullness to expect from your beard if you trim it too soon to really tell how dense or where it grows. And so the second reason why you shouldn't shave or trim your beard for at least the first one to two months when you're attempting to grow a beard is this. Without an idea of where there first may be patchy or thin areas in your beard that you have to keep an eye out for, you may trim lines like your cheek line or your neckline before really realizing what kind of potential you have and the beard styles you can pull off. Ultimately, this is about establishing a baseline for you and the kind of options you have when looking into facial hair. Now, after you've put aside the grooming tools for now and just waited patiently for one to two months, here's what you do. You want to go online and you want to research beard styles. Unfortunately, genetics has a large part to play in how your beard grows, the kind of styles you can pull off, but here's where it gets fun. You get to go online and do research and try and find out your face shape the kind of hairstyle you're gonna rock, and the beard that goes alongside that. By casually browsing these beard styles, you get an idea of what you like, what you don't like, and how you can incorporate these into your own style with what your beard can manage. All in all, some simple Google research can tell you what the best beard style is for you depending on your face shape, your hairstyle, and much more. So the next beard growing tip I have for you guys is actually kind of a beard hack, right? It's a good way for you to manage the growth of your beard and get everything, every part of your beard to grow evenly. And keep in mind that if you know your beard beard is uneven, it doesn't mean that your beard is patchy. Uneven beards are simply beards where certain areas grow faster than other areas, but patchy beards are beards where there are areas where no hair grows at all. So most people have at least one area of their beard where it's uneven. For me, my mustache doesn't grow as quick as the rest of my beard does. That's just my personal area. So here's the trick. You want to trim the rest of your beard to match the length of that one uneven area. So over time, when you don't trim that area, it grows out further and further, and you can continue growing your beard while it looks even and consistent the entire time you're growing. Now, obviously the downside is that you have to grow it out slower by trimming it more often, but believe me, it's worth it in the short run because you'll be rocking a beard that always looks good. In this case, for me, I would leave my mustache growing. I would never trim it, but I would just trim the length of the rest of my beard to match that so that over time it'll look even day to day but I can continue lengthening my mustache and lengthening the rest of my beard in tandem with each other. All right, and last but not least, if you're attempting to grow a beard, here's something that most people won't tell you. Growing the beard is just the first step, right? Just letting it grow out is probably the easiest part. You also have to maintain your beard consistently. We're talking about actual beard products that help hydrate and maintain the health of your beard and the skin underneath. Chances are you've heard of dedicated products like beard oil before, but maybe you haven't heard of other products like beard balm, beard butter, beard wax, even beard color if you need it. So here's a quick overview. When you have beard oil, 
Beard oil is great for conditioning, softening, and moisturizing your beard. It's very light, it absorbs quickly, and that just makes it great for getting some good hydration in your beard first. Now moving on to Beard Balm. Beard Balm is great for moisturizing, softening, and styling your beard. Now this is why we call Beard Balm the do-it-all men's grooming product, because you have the softening and moisturizing ability of beard oil, but also the styling and rigidity that it provides your beard, kind of like beard wax. So you're kind of balancing those two out. It's kind of the segue between beard oil and beard wax because beard wax is what we're going to talk about next. So beard or mustache wax is great for styling your beard and not much else. Because of just how thick and dense this beard wax is to give it such a good styling edge to your mustache or your beard or anywhere you put it, it doesn't absorb very quickly. So it lasts a long time, but it doesn't absorb or hydrate anything like beard oil or beard balm does. That being said, if you want a really, really good natural beard styling product, beard or mustache wax is obviously going to be the best way for you to go. And last but not least, and this is kind of a specialty product, but beard color. If you find yourself just with a little more gray than you're used to, or if you find yourself with patches that you'd really like to fill in, or an uneven beard where you'd like to add some thickness, then beard color is gonna be the way to go for you. Beard color is just great for styling your beard, giving yourself that customized edge, and you can do it quickly and easily with Volt's beard color. So this has just been a quick, short video for you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in here with Volt Lifeproof Grooming. I've got links down in the description to every single product I mentioned, as well as a few quizzes down in the description where you can actually take the quiz and it'll tell you what your perfect beard color is as well as what your perfect Volt products are for you based on whether you need styling, hydration, anything like that. Essentially, you need to look into the products to determine what you need based on the beard style you're gonna rock. I personally tend to reach for Beard Balm because of its moisturizing and styling ability, allowing me to knock out two birds with one stone. However, your needs or your preferences may be entirely different. All in all, growing your beard will take time, patience, and effort, but it will totally be worth it. Thank you guys for watching this quick video and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.